Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday, happy Memorial Day weekend. 2021 Panini Legacy football is coming at you. Thanks for spending a bit of your Memorial Day weekend with us. This is Pick Your Team 10. Remember I marked 10 on all the boxes so we know they're from the same inner case. Thanks everybody. Matt DeLeo ended up with the last spot mojo star next to his name, Seattle Seahawks. Thanks to him. Thanks to everybody for, uh, for making this happen. And if you want to follow along at home, here's the uh, here's the checklist or the draft list. I mean, same thing really. Right there, I'm going to keep the draft list open so we can start to connect players to team names. It's like the preseason for me. Kind of have to think about all that. All right. Good luck, everyone. Has there been uh, any big football news lately? I feel like. All the Aaron Rodgers stuff has quieted down significantly. I guess it's Julio Jones chatter. Apparently, sources are saying, according to ESPN, Falcons have an offer of a first for Jones. Interesting. Uh, QB, oh, QB Mac Jones is, quote, energy and swag winning over the Patriots veterans. No, that, that's about it. Eagles promote Catherine Reishi to VP level. Jets' Mosley has added chip after two-year hiatus, maybe a chip on the shoulder. TD time for Tebow. Prop bet draws Bender's cash. We like this sort of stuff. Uh, according to a story by David Purdom from ESPN, it's the hottest NFL player prop bet in Las Vegas. Over under two and a half touchdowns this season for Tim Tebow. Last week after the former Hyven Trophy winner signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars at tight end, Stations Casino, Station Casinos in Las Vegas put the Tebow touchdown prop on the board and took instant action, including a, a $2,000 limit bet on the under. Stations had a over-under prop on passing touchdowns for Rams quarterback Matt Stafford since late March. In just one week, the amount wagered on the Tebow prop already eclipsed the handle on the Stafford prop. Wow. Station Casino Sportsbook Director Chuck Esposito told ESPN the interest has absolutely exceeded my expectations. Wow. Tebow must play in Jaguars week one game against the Texans or all bets on the proper refunded, by the way. Only rushing and receiving touchdowns are included. The price bet at the under... So apparently overall bets of Tebow prop were split equally on the over and under, but according to Esposito, about five times as much money wagered on the under. The price to bet the under opened at minus 125, now at minus 165. Are we betting the Morgan on the under? Tebow, Tebow doesn't make week one, does he? All right, there's Dwight Freeney to 299. For the Colts, that'll be for Taylor. And so there's a select group of rookies that will uh, that will sleeve and um, top load, and that'll be Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith, Justin Fields, Mac Jones, Kadarius Tony, and Najee Harris. I'm gonna sleeve all of those, and our our shipping team will be able to top load those before they get sorted and shipped out. Thanks, guys. Have the new guy do it. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. There's Devonta Smith, Mini. That'll be for the Eagles. That'll be for Ethan. And, ooh, just speaking of Mac Jones, here's 20 out of 35 Mac Jones under the lights autograph. 
winning his veteran teammates over, according to sources. That's Alex with the New England Patriots. Kind of a low number there, too. the hits really quick just to make that a little bit easier and of course these legends cards will ship these are these are the commons these are the ones that won't ship uh, obviously that ships because that's a uh, numbered card and all RC rookie cards will ship and of course all minis will ship all inserts will ship Terry Bradshaw going to go to Arthur King and the Steelers. Like inserts like this, of course, will ship. There's Travis Etienne, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson going to Michael P and the Jets. Travis Etienne for Will and the Jaguars. That's 6 out of 50 on that chrome. And Devonta Smith, of course, Eagles for Ethan. There's uh, Kenneth Gainwell to 199. There is Jarrett Patterson, 004 out of 100 mini. There's Kirk Cousins to 299. Justin Fields there too. Justin Fields for the Bears. Andrew with Chicago. We've got the sound of the Sixers at Washington in the background. Sixers up 36-28. There's Najee Harris for Pittsburgh. And we got Trey Sermon on the mount, jersey and autograph. One forty-one out of three ninety-nine. Trey Sermon went to the Patriots, I think. No, Niners. Third round pick for the Niners. It's like preseason. I'm still figuring out where exactly all these guys go. See you, Mike. Box, box two, here in ten.
is kind of terrifying. You see this Domino's commercial here? The Noid is back. Second box, good luck. Jeff looking for a Caleb Farley autograph. I want to find not only that, but maybe some one of ones, maybe some train whistle cards out of fives and under for, for some of the big names. That's what I want to see. Here's Trey Lance for the Niners, Oliver Smith. Jamar Chase for the Bengals, reunited with Joe Burrow, Eric J with that one, Najee Harris for Pittsburgh, for Arthur, and a mini TJ Vasher. These cards will randomize to either the left or right team unless they're numbered. Sometimes some of these can be serial numbered. I'll set that aside here. There's a LT, Ladanian Tomlinson to 299 for the Bolts. It's going to go to Eric J. Ooh, and I think I see a nice auto coming up. Darren Waller to 199. And it is Zach Wilson, rookie autograph for Michael P. and the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. 21 out of 50 on that Zach Wilson, the savior of the franchise. That's where the Jets started turning around. Yeah, on the on the back, the copy draft experts experts uh, drooled over the tape Wilson put out during his junior campaign at BYU in 2020. During a highlight-filled run, the quarterback flashed the arm strength, the pocket presence, accuracy, mobility that uh, that NFL teams covet. There you go. Definitely be hashtag good for the hobby. Zach Wilson does well in a, in a big market like New York. Christian McCaffrey to 299 for the Carolina Panthers. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. It's Kyle Pitts for the ATL. And we got a nice patch there. And it's three out of five. That's exactly what I was looking for. A train whistle hit. This is Pat Fryermuth. Futures, dual relic and autograph. Are the, is, might be the, is it the Penn State logo there? Maybe a bowl patch or something like that? It's three out of five. And that is a Pittsburgh Steeler. All right, so Arthur King with the Steelers. There it is. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. I wanted that train whistle to happen. There it was. 
Michael P., you're welcome. Thanks for getting in. Thanks for grabbing the Jets. And there's Seth Williams to 35. Got a Terry McLaurin, 14 out of 100. Little mini card for Arthur King and the Washington football team. Heinz Ward to 150. And our first Jalen Waddle for Miami for TJ. There's Mac Jones. Which quarterback do you think will be the best in this draft class outside of Trevor Lawrence? I feel like everyone thinks, kind of knows that Trevor Lawrence should should be great. But outside of that, let's say by the time you hit season five, right? That's that's almost maybe season four, I guess, because but they have fifth year options, right? which quarterbacks from this draft get that fifth year option, which I, I assume means they're playing well. I hope all I hope all of them do. Who ends up being the better quarterback? I mean Trey Lance we may not even see until near the end of the year. If uh, that's what San Francisco is hoping, I think. I think they're hoping that Trey Lance can marinate behind Garoppolo for at least a season. But I don't know. Those first round quarterbacks, they tend to if you look at if you look at the past, at least the last 10, 15 years, I feel like first round quarterbacks, almost all of them have played at least started at least a game. Even Mahomes started a game, but that's sort of towards the end of the season, but it still started a game. A lot of times even earlier than that. Who do we see first? I guess Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson are probably slated for week one. I don't know if Justin Fields is going to start week one. I don't think Trey Lance is going to start week one. some points which will randomize to someone in the group winner take all in the points if there's more points we'll uh, we'll uh, add that into into one pile winner take all on the points on all the points there's Trey Lance Jamar Chase and a mini blue Jamar Chase 38 out of 50 for Eric and the Bengals reunited with Joe Burrow be pretty interesting. The Derek Carr to 199 for my Raiders. There's Mac Jones again. Yeah, Mac Jones may marinate a little bit this season too, unless unless Cam's ineffective. Yeah, might press him into service a little bit earlier. Big question marks for my Raiders. Well, not the Raiders' offense. I think everyone thinks the Raiders' offense is going to be pretty solid. Derek Carr needs to get a little bit better with his feet. 
but really defense is what it was their big problem last year. So if they can improve that just a little bit, they can make a little noise. There's Javian Hawkins. It's a bold autograph there for Javian. Javian Hawkins is a uh, is a falcon. It's a bird. Look at this. A guy with the last name Hawk ends, went to Louisville, was a cardinal, right, and then turned into a falcon. And he's destined for bird teams the rest of his career. We got some blue, we got some Heinz Ward, 6 out of 25, Legends. First Trevor Lawrence card. I think it's our first Trevor Lawrence card. And there's Teddy Bridgewater, 29 out of 299. Trevor Lawrence for the Jaguars. Will with the Jags. Al Pitts, rookie Chrome. That's for the ATL, that's for Alex. And another Jalen Waddle for TJ and the Dolphins. Another Mac Jones. Patriots for Alex. Jonathan Taylor and Mini for Taylor and the Colts. Trey Sermon and Dimitri Felton. And the green is Dan Marino, 67 out of 100 Legends card for TJ and the Dolphins. We are halfway through this half case break. The next pick your team is going to be from a fresh master case, so check that out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'll do a quick recap here at the end, too, as I tend to do with breaks that are you know, over like 35 minutes or so, which this will be. Um, all that information is on the schedule, Adam. If you look there and scroll down a little bit, you'll see exactly how many fillers we need to do for all of the mixers. And that schedule is frequently dropped into the chat where it says schedule plus filler information and pinned in the chat as well. Boxes. 
Well, that's relative. That's depending. That depends on how many how many spots you want to buy. With that attitude, yeah, it's not close. With a different attitude, it is close. There's Samuel Cosme, 002 out of 100. So it depends on your attitude. Washington football team for Samuel. That'll be for Arthur King. The Daniel Jones to 199. Daniel Jones could be on the cusp of a breakout season, perhaps. There's Kyle Pitts again, rookie Chrome, for Alex and the Falcons, to 100. If he gets a if Daniel Jones gets a healthy, gets a healthy Saquon Barkley back. I think they added some offensive pieces to that team. There's Clyde edwards helaire I'm sure they'll improve on defense. Clyde edwards Lair going to Justin and the Chiefs. Kyle Pitts once again for Alex. And another Kyle Pitts right here. And we got an 11 out of 15. Oh, no. Oh, no. A Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne dual autograph. That is nice. 11 out of 15. And guess what? Both on the same team. No randomizer. Isn't that great? I don't have to disappoint anybody. Will with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I didn't think, they, I didn't think the Jaguars were going to take him. So with, with the first pick, they're just like, yeah, let's just grab Travis Etienne. And then I thought with their, where did Etienne go? With the 25th pick, I thought, yeah, they're they're gonna now they're gonna protect him with like an offensive line or offensive lineman or something like that. Yeah. So for a moment, I thought, oh, it's a randomizer. It's two different players, but then I realized, no, Travis Etienne ended up with the Jacks. Congrats to Will. Josh Jacobs, 65 out of 75. Raiders mini, going to Arthur King. Weird. Knocked around in the box or something like that. All right, another Jalen Waddle. Joe Thomas to 100. Oh, come on. As soon as I flip these around, I'm, I'm trying to get these right side up as much as possible. Legacy just not helping me out here. A mini card here that wants to slip out here. Zach Thomas. Take care of that one first. And we got Charles Woodson. Nice to 25. And there's an under the lights chrome Mac Jones. Trevor Lawrence back here.
Two boxes to go. Second to last box. Good luck. Yeah, let's get let's get TJ's got the dolphins here. Let's get him some some chrome waddles. Maybe some more. I feel like we've only seen one RPA out of here too. Out of this half anyway. All right, good luck everyone. Next set of cards. We got, there's Friermuth again. Friermuth? Friermuth, 54 out of 75. For the Steelers. There's Ben Rothsberger, 299. Rookie Chrome, Greg Rousseau. And there's a Justin Fields right there. Justin Fields for the Bears, Andrew Hennessy with the Bears. And there's Hawkins again. A Nico Collins, dual relic and autograph. Maybe two colors right there, a little, little splash of that Michigan blue peeking in there. Forty-four out of one hundred. Where does uh Nico was a third round pick, wide receiver going to the Houston Texans. And that's for Peter with the Texans. Devonta Smith. Out of 150, Jerry Judy, Zach Wilson. And we've got a Javonta Williams. Second round pick, running back, going to the Denver Broncos. That's going to be for Taylor. Once again, Taylor with my rivals. Daniel, any guesses when the high-end mixer is going to go? Whenever you want it to go. 
Whenever you and and the rest of the collector is watching right now, whenever they want it to go. It's up to you, not me. I can't buy all the spots. So I should ask you this, Daniel, when 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 do you want that to break? Seventy-five on one fifty. Joseph Osai. Another Najee Harris. And we got a Travis Etienne Chrome. And we've got a Legends Mini Javon Curse. 48 out of 100. That's for Jeff. Jeff Shea and the Titans. It's the Legends Mini. I don't think I've seen a Legends Mini. First one I've seen. Another Trevor Lawrence here. Emmett Smith to 199. Pitch right there as well. Final box coming up. <laughs> there you go. That's the attitude, Jeff. Yeah. A lot of people are going to end up with but it's not very many things. So just getting a little something is better than nothing. All right, final box here. Pick your team 10. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, TJ needs this to be a good last box for him. TJ and everybody else, keep those fingers crossed. Find the four-leaf clover in the garden. Bust out the lucky rabbit's foot. Get the lucky horseshoe. Let's see what we can do here. Washington was keeping it close, but Philadelphia has stretched the lead. Right, gang last box thank you and good luck another Trevor Lawrence just keep adding to the pile of Trevor Lawrence's for Will and the Jaguars I've not seen a lot of Kadarius Tony. There he is. And we've got a green cracked ice Legends Mini Warren Sapp. 25 out of 25 for Rick T and the Buccaneers. Brand Nyack to 150 and a Kyle Pitts. And 
behind Mike Evans is a Kenneth Gainwell. That's a good last name. That's what you want him to do. Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell, running back out of Memphis, went to the Eagles in the fifth round. Yeah, great last name for a running back, Gainwell. Eagles, Ethan with the Eagles. It's Drew Brees to 199. We're not seeing Drew Brees this football season. That's going to go to Monty. We've got a mini Deshaun Watson for Houston. It'll be for Peter. Mari Cooper to 299, Justin Fields. Justin Fields, of course, Bears, Andrew. Mari Cooper, Dallas, Nicholas. It's a Najee Harris rookie card. King is looking for some ink there for Najee. There's the last autograph coming up. And that's going to be one of the many Elijahs who were drafted, I feel like, in this draft. This is Elijah Mitchell, rookie autograph for the Niners, sixth round pick. That's how things are going to close out. Oh, one more. Yeah. Saquon Barkley to 100. Greg Rousseau and Jamie Newman here at the end. Thanks, everyone, for making this break happen. Now, we got some randomizers to do, and then we'll do a quick recap. See, check this out. I heard you say that. That's I awesome, right? All teammates in the NFL So all through autos, you want the randomized now. What? For the, for, oh, for that, that one, yeah. That uh, at first, I thought it was someone else, and I was like, oh, Travis Etienne. <laughs> Phew. All right, let's do some randomizing here. So let's go back to this list. We'll first do the left-right randomizer for those Generations cards. And then everyone has a chance at a little consolation prize, uh, 400 points. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize each list five and a four nine times. One, two, three, four. And ninth and final time after nine. Left side will get him after nine. Five and a four, nine times for the points. Name on top gets 400 points. One, two, three, four, six, eight, and once more, right? Ninth and final time. Yeah, one more. Again, name on top after nine is going to be Arthur King. There you go, Arthur. And there you go, everybody. I'm Joe for ja Oh, before we go, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Kind of a weird time of day where the lighting gets a little curious, but that was an out of five. There's a Zach Wilson autograph. That's a pretty good break. Trey Sermon, Mac Jones, and the dual auto, Trey Lawrence and Travis Etienne. No randomizer, no sad times for one person. Just one really happy person who got the Jaguars. That was Will.
Congrats to Will. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.